what's up guys welcome back once again it is me malt sub to be here with you guys today we're gonna be going over some dark elixir farming uh, you can see my army comp here it's heavy giant uh, I generally have about 20 giants um, and then a good amount of barbarians and archers as well so it's kind of like gee barch um, you can throw in some goblins and you'll see me do that in some other clips in this video um, but what we're doing is we're attacking from one side where we know we can get into the Dark Elixir. Um, you want to drop off your giants to kind of get a lot of the aggro or attention of the defenses. Um, since they are so tanky and so heavy duty, they do a great job of taking all of those hits while your DPS troops or your archers, your barbarians, and your goblins come in and do the rest. So our giants did a good job of clearing out that side of the base. And now you can see our barbarians and our archers are coming in. Uh, to get the rest of that Dark Elixir. Now I do have two lightning spells that I could have used on the mortars, but I wasn't really too worried about them because I knew that all I was looking for was the Dark Elixir. So you can see my archers are finally in here once we cleared out that side and they are taking out all that Dark Elixir. There is 301 of it left at this point in time. Uh, there's still about 40 seconds. Our troops are going to be working their way around and getting to the pumps as well. Um, it's very important to pay attention not only to the placement of the Dark Elixir, uh, storage but also where the dark elixir drills are um, there's one on the far right side which I knew that I wasn't going to be able to get um, as well as the other one so I pretty much just focused on the top of the base where I knew I could get the storage as well as that one dark elixir drill we're gonna go ahead and let our archers just finish up here again guys it's important to deploy your troops in a manner of giants first with um, some wall breakers after the mortar shells hit so that you can get in through the walls um, and you also want to make sure that your giants have aggro before you drop off your wall breakers, otherwise you'll lose those. We're going to go ahead and jump into the second clip. You can see we got over a thousand Dark Elixir in that one. These next two clips are going to be very, very good when it comes to Dark Elixir. So this base is really, really upgraded, uh, a lot more than that last one. Um, where you're going to do the same thing down here, you can see that I'm tapping, I'm on an iPad, so I'm tapping uh, Giant Wall Breaker, Giant Wall Breaker, and that was able to get the giants into the bottom part of the base. Uh, and then we're going to drop off some of our goblins, not all of them, because they do a great amount of DPS to loot storages and drills and pumps and all that kind of stuff. So they help clear out the side of the base um, so that your archers and other troops can get in. So our giants are working their way around over to that other archer tower, which is a little bit annoying because we didn't want them to go straight over there. But we do still have a couple wall breakers that we're going to drop and try and get up towards this Tesla. You can see all three of them going right there. One, two, and we've got one more that's going to hit right there. And that's going to open up that wall. Uh, but obviously there were going to be some giant bombs or Teslas in that area. Um, but it's okay because we have we got our king up in there. He was able to take out some stuff. And as you can see right now, our archer queen is on the dark elixir getting all of it for us. We're going to use her ability right there. We're going to get all of it except for 131, which is in the drills. So again, guys, your whole goal is to clear out a side of the base so the rest of your troops can get in. You can see that my giants did a great job of doing that for me. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on to the last one. Also, we implemented goblins in, in that one, and we're going to implement some goblins in this one as well. We've got 20 giants, 8 wall breakers, 20 goblins, 60 and 44 of the other troops. And this is kind of the same sort of base layout, guys. We're going to drop off a giant wall breaker, giant wall breaker again to get these giants up in here. And then these wall breakers are going to get shot by that cannon over there, which is a little bit annoying. But um, if I had dropped a giant over there to distract, then I could have done that. But it ends up not being too big of a deal. So we're going to go ahead and get in here. Again, guys, I'm not using my spells because um, I'm not too worried about it. If I wanted to, I would have taken out that mortar right there. That's an option for y'all if you want to do that. Um, <clears throat> but we get our giants up in here and our barbarians as well. Our um, our king and our queen are both down. Our king is working his way around with those giants and our queen is working her way up. She's gonna end up being the main character that helps us get this dark elixir. So you can see that I've saved a bunch of my archers until this point when all those buildings are gone so that they can get in here and head towards the middle. Uh, so we've got a group of our archers right there. Now thankfully that uh, expo is down on the left side of the base. So that is helping us out a lot. But you can see my archers head right in here and they take out that uh, Tesla and then they focus on the Dark Elixir right there. And that is going to be it. Guys, so the main points are drop off your giants and your wall breakers at the beginning and then spread out your troops in waves so that you can slowly get in to where the Dark Elixir is. It's very important to make sure you bring enough wall breakers and giants with you as well as DPS troops. Hope that you guys learned a lot from this video and y'all can implement it in your own attacks. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, guys, make sure you keep calm and clash on from right. I'll see you guys later. Peace.